We turn now to China's space quest. China will launch a two-man space mission, Shenzhou 11, on Monday morning. It's scheduled for 7.30 a.m. This takes the country one step further in fulfilling its ambition of setting up a permanent manned space station by 2022. The mission will be carried out with a Long March 2F carrier rocket from the Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center in Gansu Province, northwest China. The spacecraft will dock with orbiting space lab Tiangong-2, and the astronauts will stay in the space lab for 30 days. After that, the Shenzhou 11 spaceship will separate from Tiangong-2 and return to Earth within one day. The mission aims to transport personnel and materials between Earth and Tiangong-2 and examine rendezvous, docking and return technologies. And the two Chinese astronauts of the mission, Jing Haipeng and Chen Dong, met the press Sunday ahead. They will be sent to space for docking with a space lab Tiangong-2, which has been orbiting Earth for 30 days. Earlier, we talked to our reporter Wu Lei, who was at the press conference. Today's astronauts Jing Haipeng and Chen Dong finally met the press and answered some questions. Both of them said they were in very good physical and mental condition. And with that, the countdown of China's latest manned spacecraft has started. Jing Haipeng and Chen Dong are the two astronauts on board the Shenzhou 11 spacecraft. Jing Haipeng will serve as a commander of the mission. It will be Jing's third space flight following his Shenzhou 7 mission in 2008 and Shenzhou 9 mission in 2012. Being an astronaut is my career, and flying in space is my job and also my dream. Although the job itself is full of challenges, even dangers to my life, I really love and enjoy my job. With a safe flight record of 1,500 hours as an Air Force pilot, Chen Dong became part of China's second group of astronauts in May 2010 and was selected as a crew member of the Shenzhou 11 mission this past June. After six years of training, I finally got the job. The timing is just right for me. I'm very lucky to pair up with Jing Haipeng and I'm confident in conducting the mission. China's longest stay in space was carried out by the astronauts of Shenzhou 10. That lasted 15 days. Now the plan for the astronauts of Shenzhou 11 is to complete a 30-day residence in orbit. That is why the number of astronauts had to be reduced to extend their time in space. A spokeswoman for the Chinese manned space program said the Shenzhou 11 will be launched at 7.30 a.m. Beijing time Monday. After docking with the Tiangong-2 space lab, a record number of 14 experiments will be carried out in the Tiangong-2. These experiments will cover cutting-edge technologies like space material science and space life science. Early Monday morning, right before the launch, there will be a signing off ceremony for the two astronauts. They will receive one last scene before journeying into the space. The best wishes of the nation. We'll be right there and bringing you the latest. Now let's get to know more about the two astronauts on the Shenzhou 11 mission. Air Vice Marshal Jing Haipeng was born in 1966. He has safely flown for 1,200 hours. His career started in January 1998 with 11 others recruited as the country's first astronaut team. The 50-year-old is commander of this time mission. Jing was a good basketball player when he was little. His parents were very proud of him when he carried his first manned space mission back in 2008. Though he feels sorry to his wife and son for not being around much. A fun fact about Jing is that his space missions have always occurred in the same years as the Summer Olympics. Cheng Dong, a colonel, was born in December 1978. He has a safe flight record of 1,500 hours and joins the Chinese astronaut team in May 2010. This will be the first time Chen has been a crew member on a spacecraft. Chen told the media he can't wait to see the view in space and take pictures of the Earth.
Now joining us in the studio is Professor Yang Yuguang from the China Aerospace Science and Industry Corporation. He's here to fill us in on some of the other details of this space mission. Welcome back. Good to see you. We watched together as the two astronauts were introduced to the press and to the public. Let's talk more about that duel. We have one veteran who has flown to space twice before, and we have a relatively new face. He has been trained. He has been in training for a long time, but this, this will be his first flight into space. What do you think of the dynamics between the two? I recognize this as a very natural choice for this mission. You know, this, this mission is very important, critical for China's future space program. And uh, for this mission, we need the two spacecraft to form a combination. Uh, mainly, we depend on the automatic docking, which is very uh, reliable. But in emergency cases or some abnormal cases, we also depend on the manual docking. Uh, Mr. Jing Haipeng is not only an uh, experienced astronaut who has attended two uh, space missions before. He's also more interested in that. Uh, he attended the Shenzhou 9 mission, uh, which have very similar uh, the mission uh, arrangement of this uh, Shenzhou 11 mission. So he also has the capability to uh, perform the manual docking and also has the capability to uh, manage the combination. So this is, uh, I believe this is the reason that we choose Mr. Qing Haipeng as the commander. So they will increase the success rate of this uh, whole mission. On the other hand, uh, because you know that China's space station will be constructed uh, several years later. So uh, at that time, the first batch of astronauts is relative old. So the Cultivation of the second batch will be very important. Uh, Miss Liu Yang, Miss uh, Wang Yaping is uh, belong uh, are belongs to the second batch. But this time, Mr. Chen Dong is the third one uh, of the second batch of astronauts uh, come into a flight mission. Uh, I believe they will play the me uh, major role in China's uh, future space, uh, uh, space station missions. A challenging job would be an understatement for, for these two men that will fly into space. And tomorrow, we have a comprehensive system supporting these two astronauts on the ground, isn't there? But just astronaut-wise, very specifically, what type of challenges, what will be the most difficult and challenging part for these two astronauts on board this mission? Oh, well, in fact, for any uh, human space missions, the launch and the re-entry is the most dangerous part. Uh, you know that during history, seven astronauts died during the launch, and 11 astronauts from uh, U.S. and the former Soviet Union died in the uh, re-entry. So this is the most uh, uh, dangerous part. Besides this part, of course, this time, the 30 days uh, of stay in space will be the greatest challenge we will meet. Uh, the loss of bones, the weakening of the muscles, all these challenges uh, we met, uh, we must meet, uh, are also the knowledge we should acquire in these missions, which is very necessary for future space station program. And because they will stay uh, more time in space, uh, not only they will have m m many uh, uh, experiments to do, but also they will have much fun, much more fun uh, in uh, space. As Mr. Chen Dong has mentioned, he's uh, eager, he's, uh, he cannot wait to see the uh, beautiful blue bubble of our home. So this will be a very uh, great time for him. Uh, and it is uh, very natural to uh, choose eight hours a day because it is a very long period of stay in space. Uh, in the short period uh, mission, uh, uh, they may work more every day, but uh, for this uh, longer period, uh, it, uh, it is a wise choice to work eight hours a day. Uh, eight hours a day. Uh, this is because uh, the burden will cause many serious problems for these astronauts. They will work six days a week and spend a total of 30 days in space. Fingers crossed for both men and for their mission. Thank you so much, Professor Yang, for joining Welcome. us today.